Welcome back to Kicking It in the Keys. Uh, tonight we're going to give you three more holes, holes 9, 10, and 11. Um, please remember to like and subscribe our channel. We have some great things coming up. Everything Key West, not just golf. Um, next month we have Lobster Fest, a Beer Fest, um, and don't forget uh, Fantasy Fest coming up in three months. Be sure to stay tuned and keep following us. We appreciate it. All right, welcome back. After holes six, seven, and eight, the mangrove mayhem, we've made it to the ninth hole. Ninth hole is a beautiful finishing hole. It is also got mangroves all the way up the right side and it dogs legs right to left. Um, there's a big trap right in the middle. Uh, your target line is gonna be that trap. Um, if you're right-handed and play a fade, uh, you gotta be careful of the mangroves, um, but you do have room on the right side of this hole. see the trees I'm gonna take it just inside the tree line so hopefully hit a little cut and go from there they hit it a little more right than I wanted so we'll see if we uh, stayed in the in the play all right, we did hit it a little uh, through the fairway, but we're okay. We're 103 yards out. Uh, nice little wedge shot in. Got bunkers on three sides of the screen. Um, most of the greens, as we talked about, are protected pretty well by bunkers, and they're all elevated. Um, so we're just going to give it a good swing, and hopefully we get it up, up to the front pin placement. We made it on. If you look at it, all the mangroves on the right hand side, it goes all the way up and down the hole. But we survived it, we're on the green, we'll see it up there. All right, we uh, hit it a little deep, but we're on the green. We have about a 30 footer um, for birdie, so we'll see if we can knock it in. The greens were just punched, so they're a little choppy. Um, I don't know that well, but we'll give it away. We can get a little tap in the car. All right, we're gonna head over to 10. See you there. All right. Coming off the ninth hole to start off a fresh nine on 10, right off of the clubhouse. Um, the very similar to the ninth hole, except the bunkers on the other side. It's a dog leg right to left with mangroves on the left, and it's safe to the right. You can avoid the trap. And that one is out of bounds, so we're gonna have to take another shot. Lost many a ball in the main groves to the left. Um, gotta really fight hard to stay right. That one will be fine. All right, so I was able to catch a piece of the fairway, the right side of the fairway on my uh, second ball. So now I'm hitting my fourth shot into the screen. I have about 115 yards to the flag. Um, maybe we can salvage a bogey, we'll see. We're 
on the green, grab a chance. All right, we got a long putt for bogey. Um, we'll give it a whirl, um, and we'll go from there. Tough green. Still got a little work left. Hooped around and in for a true double bogey. Uh, again, we've got one more hole to do. We're going to do hole 11, which mirrors the 10th, and we'll see you at the tee. All right, so the 11th hole I consider the most difficult hole, um, second most difficult on the course next to number six, but certainly on the back. Um, it's not ranked the toughest because there's a long par five, but it's a par five. This is a par four, over 400 yards. It dog legs left to right um, with a bunker straight ahead. So you really have to shape the ball around and it's tough to do in a long hole. I try to take it a shortcut over the trees and, and that's probably my best way to go because if I hit it, uh, right to left is my natural ball flight and there's only trouble out there. So we're going to try to hit it, cut the corner a little bit and keep it in play. Alright, so I made the fairway. Um, as you can see, I avoided these traps, which would be a real pain in the butt because I'm 186 yards from the front pin placement. We're hitting back into the clubhouse. As I mentioned, 10 and 11 run together. Um, after 11, we go across 10 and we head 12 and we go to another part of the course. Um, we'll see if we can negotiate the shot. up a little short. Hopefully we can get up and down for par. All right, uh, we did land up a little short, um, but we don't have too much further to go. Hopefully we can get up and down. Call it, you call it good. Uh, right up there nicely. We'll be able to tap in for par. It's always nice to leave yourself a little over a foot for par, um, so we'll tap this in and call it good. That's it, power on 11.